Hello, today I wanted to show you how I'm going to make a homemade version of my favorite gluten-free flour. This is the all-purpose flour from Walmart. I am making a copycat of that. This recipe is in our Dining on a Dime cookbook on page 74 at livingonadime.com, 25% off right now. Okay, now, as I said, this is my favorite gluten-free flour. I like the rice flour bin blends the best. I am making just a half a batch today, so we're going to use our tapioca flour. Okay, and once again, this is a half batch. There's my tapioca flour. I've tried all different kinds of tapioca flour and they all seem to work. Then potato starch. Whoops, okay. That went a little fast, so I'll just do that as my two tablespoons. And then my cornstarch. My brown or white rice flour. I have brown flour right here. Now, the brown flour and the white flour give it a better texture. So if you can get both brown and white, then and sweet white, they all give a different texture, okay? And here's my sweet white. That's hard to say. And yes, this makes a big mess, I'm sorry. And then xanthan gum, here's what it looks like in the package, but I store mine in a zip top bag. And then just mix this all together and just use this as you would for any gluten-free all-purpose flour. This is not the same as baking mix. Baking mix has added baking powder and salt. This is just the all-purpose flour. And there you go. Beautiful all-purpose gluten-free flour mix. Livingonadime.com. You can get the recipe in the description below.